Hello everyone, it's Webex Dirty XD, and welcome to the tenth and final race of the uh, NASCAR Camper World Truck Sim Racing Series Season Two. Our four championship contenders are here: Cody Coughlin, Stuart Friesen, Christian Eckes, and uh, Chase Briscoe. They are all getting ready to fight for the title. This is a new homestead track. Yeah, so, um, unfortunately, um, there's going to be a few less laps. Instead of 30, we're going to be doing 25 laps, because, um, uh, I calculated the time it would take for, uh, one lap to go, and it was about, uh, about, about 30 seconds, so, I don't really have time to do a 15-minute video. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm sure 25 would do. And we will be pitting at laps 9 through 10, and, uh, 18 through 19. A brand new pitting pattern this time. Pitting laps 9 and 10 and 18 and 19. So, I'm just gonna plug in my uh, plug in my computer so we can uh, get ready. And also, um, I am very excited to uh, kick off the uh, Monster Energy Cup. Sim racing because there's a plenty of new faces and new places, including uh, some new sim racing tracks. Not new tracks, but new designs of tracks. Because I'm uh, I'm tired of using the uh, of using the crappy ones that, that that have lag all the time that 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 split the field into three. Yeah, because I want to provide the best sim racing on the internet. And, uh, and I'm happy that I'm doing a good job at it. So yeah, 25, 25 laps to decide our champion. Here we go! And the racing action has begun. Brett Moffitt takes an early lead, going into turn, uh, coming off of the first two corners. This race is going to be ex excessively tight, so hold on to your horses, everyone, because we're going to see some tight racing here. Cody Coughlin takes the contender lead, but Ben Rhodes goes down to the inside. Stuart Friesen and Cody Coughlin, side by side. Looks like Brett Moffat and Ben Rhodes, oh, they caught up. That was just Roblox being Roblox. Already Norm Benning from the back of the pack coming to the front. He he almost took the lead, but the lag but the lag took charge. Brett Moffat still holds the lead. Here comes Cody Coughlin to the inside. Coughlin to the inside. Can he take the lead? No, he won't. Lap four. Ro Josh Rayom all the way to the bottom. That's going to carry him. Up. That's going to give him a lot of spots. But look at how many cars wide they are. Jesse Little takes the lead, but Josh Rayom lags in front for some reason. Man, this is going to be some close racing. Already five laps, and we're already seeing the close racing pick up. Johnny Sauter. Right in front of Jesse Little. Jesse Little to the inside. Oh, he lags back, but he comes back up. Jesse Little in the 97. Oh, here's Stuart Friesen in second place. Stuart Friesen. And here comes Chase Briscoe joining the battle. Christian Eckes is back there too, and it looks like Cody Coughlin's already falling back. That's not something you want to do in these in the first in the opening stages of this race. Chase Party, the 99, an eliminated contender, looking to take the lead, but you have you have to get around the lag. Jordan Anderson almost leads the lap. It's going to be Chase Party who leads that lap. Chase Briscoe in the 27 to the inside, looking to take the contender lead from Stuart Friesen. 
He's inside of him. This could be good. Shakes Briscoe almost takes the contender league, but lags back a little bit. Chase Briscoe takes the contender lead from Stuart Friesen. Here comes, here's Christian Eckes. Chase Purdy and Josh Rayom are leading the way, but here comes Jesse Little to the inside. Jeffrey Abbey almost leads that lap, but gets forced down to the bottom lane, and that might cost them a little. First pit stop. Remember, it's lap 9 through 10. All right, everyone is coming in. Don't fall off. We cross the line and head into lap number 10. They're going to come out of pit road and then come around once again. Wow, look at how close this racing is. Everybody's still in one pack. It's spread out just a, just a wee bit as Jesse Little gets a full block length lead over Josh Ryome. The lag has decreased significantly. Jesse Little and Josh Ryome are in the lead. Oh, but they lag back a little bit. That's going to hand the lead to Josh Ryom. Will it be four wide for the lead? I don't know. Bola Mastis, new lap leader. Good job. Jesse Little looking to the inside. Chase Briscoe is the contender leader right now. Chase Briscoe looking for the race lead as well. Imagine if you win, if you if you beat all the contenders and win the race, that would be super duper epic. But he takes the lead, leads that lap. Corey Roper tries to make a move on the outside, but it does not work. Chase Briscoe has the race lead right now. Chase Briscoe still holds the lead, but here comes Christian Eckes. Cody Colhan has fallen back. And it looks like it may be the end of the run for him. That is, if he doesn't get back. He's going to have to make an insane comeback if he wants to win this championship. He's getting left in the dust. Robbie Lyons all the way down to the bottom of the track. There's only 25 laps. Robbie Lyons goes down to the bottom. In the top five he goes. Lap 16. The race is coming down to the final laps. Actually, almost. Once we do this pit stop, then we can say that. Robbie Lyons has the race lead. Chase Briscoe has the contender lead. Cody Coughlin is way behind. He's look. He has to make a. He has to make a Hail Mary comeback if he wants to win this championship. Riding in the back with him is Parker Kligerman. Robbie Lyons has the race lead now. The contenders have fallen back a little bit. Now it's going to be a three-wide battle for the championship. 
Wait, it's lap 18. That means we have to pit now. This is it, folks. The pit stop. The money stop. Who is going to get... Who is going to get the good stop off the pit road? We cross the start-finish line to commence lap number 19. Get ready, everyone. Hold on to your hats, because we're going to see a great finish here at Homestead Miami Speedway. A classical end to, to a phenomenal truck series season. It's three wide for the lead with Travis Quapel in the lead. A new leader is Travis Quapel. Oh, but he gets forced down to he's forced forced onto the low line. Almost lost lost the lead, but gets it back. But the lag takes over and pushes him back a little bit. But don't worry, he still has inside advantage. Lap 21. Here comes Chase Briscoe to the outside. Briscoe on the outside. Friesen on the inside. Christian Eckes is on the outside as well. Cody Coughlin trying to come back, but he may be too late to do so. Stuart Friesen pulling to the contender lead. Chris Fontaine is the race leader. Oh, but Tate Fogelman steals a lap from him. Clay Greenfield looking to go two in a row as he as he goes down to the inside. Clay Greenfield likes to the lead, but Chris Fontaine is in, is in his inside. The contenders lag back a little bit. We have three laps remaining to decide our champion. Will we have a good finish? Will we have a photo finish? Because I would love to see a photo finish in a championship race. That would be a sight to see. It might be over for Cody Coughlin and Christian Eckes. Two laps to go to decide our champion. The, closing, the racing has never been this close before. Noah Gregson is in the inside. He's looking to take the lead. Chase Briscoe is in, is in the contender lead. Two laps remaining. Noah Gregson trying to hold on and win. Can he do it? We'll have to see what happens in lap number 25. This is it, folks. The moment we've all been waiting for. Lap 25. Last lap. Noah Gregson to the lead is is in the lead. Stuart Friesen to the inside, looking for the contender lead, looking to win this championship. He has the inside. He's almost at Chase Briscoe. This could be the move for the championship. Will he do it? Stuart Friesen to the inside. Chase Purdy and Noah Gregson battling to the finish. Who's gonna win it? Chase Purdy wins, and Stuart Friesen wins the championship. Great job as Stuart Friesen. He made the pass on the last turn and passed Chase Briscoe for the championship. Congrats to our race winner. And congratulations to Stuart Friesen, our champion. Briscoe, Chase Briscoe was so close, but he lost it in the final turn. He gets second. Christian Eckes gets third, and Cody Coughlin gets fourth of the contenders. Well, great job to everyone. Especially great job to our to our race winner, and to Stuart Friesen for pulling off a, a, a championship winning move. That is so it. We are using this track for every single Homestead race from now until the end of time, because this track is amazing. Thank you to the creator of this track. Thank you so much for giving us this amazing piece of artwork. Which has resulted in some of the finest sim racing we've seen since season one. Now it's time for shout outs. Thank you to all our NASCAR drivers. Thank you to NASCAR for making this all possible, and thank you to Roblox for making this all possible. 
But the people who I want to shout out the most is you guys. Because you are what keep my channel alive. What a phenomenal season. And what a race to close off our season. The closest racing I've ever seen. It wasn't a photo finish like I anticipated, but it sure was enough to keep fans at the edge of their seats. Well, we will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.